Welcome to the assembly video for your Braille King gas grill. The following model numbers apply to this assembly. Feel free to use this video as a companion to your assembly manual. Now let's get started. Before starting, unpack all the components of your barbecue out of the box and lay them out in your workspace. Use the foil drip pan to hold the contents of the hardware bag. You'll need the following tools to assemble your Signet Series barbecue. A hammer or a rubber mallet. A number two Robertson or Phillips screwdriver. A 7 16 combination wrench. And finally, a 7 16 socket and ratchet wrench. Step one. Using a block of wood as a base, place the push nut on the block. Set the axle into the open side of the push nut and tap the other end of the axle firmly with a hammer to secure the push nut to the axle. Place one of the seven inch wheels on the axle. Slide it all the way to the end of the axle. Then insert the wheel and axle through the opening in the resin base of the barbecue. Turn the barbecue base on its side and use the wooden block to support the already secured push nut. Place the second seven inch wheel on the other end of the axle. And then place the second push nut on the open end of the axle. Firmly strike the push nut with the hammer to secure it to the axle. Step two. Set the base on the ground upside down to install the casters. Push them in using your body weight. Make sure the collar on the caster stem is flush to the base. If it is not flush, use your 7 16 wrench across the bottom of the caster to increase the force. Take both side panels and the rear cabinet panel. Align the screws on the side panels with the openings on the rear panel. Use your screwdriver to tighten all four screws. Step three. The cook box of your Braille King barbecue is already attached with valves, igniter, and subframe completed. Remove the flavor waves and flavor zone dividers. Turn the cook box upside down and use the wooden block to support the front of the cook box. Take the cabinet assembly and place the four pre-mounted bolts on the side panels into the openings on the casting supports. At the rear corners of the cabinet, install two of the longest bolts from your hardware pack. The four rear panel bolts do not require nuts on them. The rear brace retains the bolts effectively. On the front corners of your cabinet, install the two remaining long bolts from your hardware pack into the upper mounting holes. Install a nut on each bolt. That's two on each corner, four in total. Tighten the remaining fasteners with your 7 16 wrench and screwdriver. Step four. Install the heat shield over the casting support bolts on the bottom of the barbecue. Secure them with one nut on each bolt. Tighten them using your 7 16 wrench. Install the door bracket on the bottom of the front brace. The notched side of the door bracket should face the inside of the cabinet. At this point, uncoil the igniter wire for the side burner and pass it through the smallest opening in the side panel. Do the same with the side burner hose, this time pass it through the one inch round opening. Step five, install the propane tank bracket and secure it using the four bolts and washers provided. Step six, attach the base to the cabinet panels using the six nuts and bolts provided. From the inside of the cabinet, pass bolts through the steel cabinet panel and the resin base. Secure them with the nuts provided and tighten all six using your 7 16 ratchet. Two on each side and two at the back. On bases with two options for attachment holes, always use the outer opening, never the inner. The large wheel should always end up on the left side of the barbecue when it's upright. Step seven, stand the barbecue upright. Do so by laying the upside down barbecue onto its back, then stand it up from there. Avoid tipping the barbecue forward onto its control panel. Remove the protective coating from the stainless steel doors before you install them. Install the doors of your barbecue by inserting the upper pin into the front brace. Then the lower pin into the bottom of the barbecue. Step eight. Install the shelves on your barbecue. Hold the shelf securely and insert the roll pin through the shelf bracket into the bottom opening of the cabinet panel. Do this on both the front and back of the barbecue. To secure the shelves in the upright position, lift up and then push down firmly on the edges of the shelf closest to the cookbox. 
Make sure you use cotter pins to secure the roll pins on the shelves and use the plastic pins provided to lock the shelves in the upright position. Step 9. Open your side burner lid. Remove the side burner trivet, plastic packaging and side burner handle. Peel the protective plastic film from the side burner body and replace the trivet carefully. Using your screwdriver, remove both screws from the handle. Put one screw through the side burner lid from the bottom and tighten it partially to the handle with your screwdriver. Do the same to the other screw and then tighten both screws all the way to finish. Step 10. Attach the side burner igniter wire and the side burner hose. To install the hose, remove the horseshoe clip and replace it over the side burner venturi tube to secure the burner hose in place. Step 11. Install the stainless steel baffle kit in the bottom of the cook box. The notched corners on the baffle face the front of the bottom casting. Replace the flavor waves and flavor zone dividers. Step 12. Attach the lid to the cook box assembly using the roll pins and cotter pins. Remove the handle mounting hardware from the lid. Install the lid handle and secure it with the hardware you just removed. Install the warming rack by putting one peg through the hole in the lid assembly. Holding the warming rack surface vertically, slide the other pin into the side of the top casting. Install the swing arm pins into the cook box. Install the cooking grids in your barbecue. Step 13. To install your rear burner, place the opening of the burner over the spring on the right hand side of the grill. Push the burner all the way to the right and carefully insert the left end of the burner into the corresponding holes in the cook box. Step 14. Install the foil drip pan in the rear of the barbecue. Secure the propane tank using the tank bracket in the cabinet and attach the regulator to the propane tank. Step 15. Regardless of whether or not you have a rotisserie on your barbecue, install the rotisserie brackets we've provided. The right side bracket is two pieces that nest together, while the left is a single piece. Install the right hand brackets on the inside of the casting. Continue installing the bracket using bolts from the inside of the casting pointing out. Use the supplied wing nuts on the outside of the casting to secure the rotisserie bracket. Install the left side bracket from the top by inserting it into the groove in the casting. The rotisserie motor easily installs on the right hand bracket. To assemble the rotisserie kit, loosen the thumb screws on each fork, slide them onto the spit rod, and then tighten the thumb screws before proceeding. Place the bushing on the spit rod with the set screw facing the inside of the barbecue. Use your screwdriver to tighten the set screw. Install the threaded collar on the open end of the spit rod. Put the counterbalance weight on the spit rod and secure using the handle. Finally, install the battery into the igniter and you're almost ready to grill. Now is a good time to look over your barbecue. Ensure that everything is secure and in place. From there, light your barbecue and leave it on medium-high for at least 20 minutes to burn off any residue from the manufacturing process. 
To season your cast iron cooking grids, heat your grill to 400 degrees. Turn your burners off and coat your grids with oil. Then you're ready to grill. Now is a great time to register your grill. Please visit omcbbq.com and click on the link. It's quick and easy. We'll provide you with the very best in customer support, recipe ideas, informative videos, grilling tips, and much more.